A keg pump is a great option for dispensing beer if you will be drinking an entire keg in one day. It introduces oxygen into the keg, which will cause the beer to go flat and stale in about 24 hours. So you've got a limited time to finish the keg once you tap it. Most people typically use a bucket filled with ice to keep a keg cold. The drawbacks to this are that uneven temperatures throughout the keg can present problems and melt the ice quickly. A better option is using an insulated keg bag, which keeps the ice frozen longer and gives better coverage around the whole keg. Create a base of ice at the bottom of the bag before inserting the keg. Fill the rest of the bag with ice and pack it in around the sides of the keg. You can't have too much ice. Insert the keg pump between the lugs and the top of the keg and twist it clockwise about a quarter turn until it's snug. Pull out on the handle and push it down to tap the keg. With a cooling bag, you can close the top and use the opening to access the keg pump, providing even more insulation. Once the keg pump is in place, close the zipper around the pump to trap in the cold. The most common error with the keg pump is overpressurizing the keg. Tap your keg before pumping and see how it's pouring. Depending on how long you let the keg settle, you may need to pour off the first few cups of foam. The perfect pour should take about 6 to 8 seconds to fill a 16 ounce cup. If the flow is slow, start with 4 or 5 pumps and check the flow rate. If you haven't pumped enough, the beer will trickle out very slowly, but if you over pump, your beer will blast out pure foam. The only option to get the foam to die down is to pour beer until the pressure is reduced. When pouring, make sure you open the faucet all the way so as not to restrict the flow. Only pump it when you need to. With a little patience and practice, you'll be pouring perfect cups of beer in no time.